Welcome to Colorlogic. In today's tutorial program we're going to show how we can integrate multiple metallic colors into your designs and then add a dimensional and watermark effect pattern using the pre-designed color palettes by Colorlogic. Using your metallic wall chart which shows 250 metallic colors each color has a unique name and that name is cross-referenced into the digital color palette that installs inside your application programs such as Illustrator, InDesign, Quark Express and Photoshop. Each color is in a fuller chromatic color system which means that it spans the whole color spectrum. All we have to do is choose the colors you want to work with and apply these in your design. These color charts are available from your printer. You go to your printer to have the color chart produced color chart then represents the achievable color space from that printer on their machine using their own color setup and profiling. It's very important that you approach your own printer for one of these charts. If you do not have a licensed printer you can have a look on the Colorlogic website and each printer that is licensed is listed in our partner section. Or if you prefer us to contact your printer for you, please provide us with their details and we can make contact with them on your behalf. So starting with our design we're going to go into our Adobe InDesign and today we're going to take a sample design of some business cards. What we're going to do is change the background color of each of these designs into a unique color logic metallic color and then apply some special effects. So first of all we need to go to new color swatch from our swatches library and from the color mode we drag down and we find the color logic color palette. We then select through and choose the colors we would like to design with I'm selecting some of the effects at the same time. I'll choose a few different colors here just so we can really show the capabilities of this system. And one more for look. I'll take a green. So I'm adding those to my list and I click on done. And you'll now notice that in our swatches palette we now have a full list of all our colors. We have for example CL036S. The CL stands for color logic. 036 is its unique number and the S stands for silver which is a silver ink system that we're printing with. We then also have the same color done with a dimensional effect pattern and a watermark effect so they're pre-designed into the color palettes for you. All we have to do is select the background, click on the color that we want to apply and we'll do this one as 77 and just scroll out and we'll have 118 for this and 186. So quickly and simply we now have four metallic colors on our job. Very quick, just click and color. Each of those colors in our color palettes is a pre-designed silver and CMYK formulation, meaning you do not need to do any work. All you do is simply click and color. And then when you send your file to print, you'll have five separations. To show this, if we turn on our separations preview, um, I'm just gonna turn off the CMYK. We can see this is the silver separation channel. So this is the silver and the black. We have the yellow, magenta, and cyan. So as you can see, we're layering CMYK data, which is transparent inks, over the top of our specialized silver metallic ink system. On the press, you would have five metallic colors. One, two, three, four, and the fifth one would be where the silver is. So for example, I'm now gonna zoom in, and I'm gonna change a few different effects here. I'm gonna take the My Brand, now my brand is your brand, it's basically whatever you want to be there. And I'm going to have this as a dimensional effect pattern. So the background colour, if we remember, is z um, 036. So the effect needs to be 036 dimensional effect. We'll zoom out and we apply this to all the other ones. So we're going to have a dimensional effect for each of the areas where it says my brand. And make sure that the dimensional effect is always the same colour as the background but with the without the metallic. Turn off the CMYK, you'll see that we have no silver in this area. Dimensional effect is controlled by having non-metallic areas next to metallic. If we want to take where it says silver plus CMYK, or in this case CMYK meaning process, and we want to apply that as a, um, a watermark, all we do, click on the watermark color. And very subtly, you'll just be able to see this, it literally is like a watermark. It's a silver, it's a specialized tint of silver that goes behind the back and this is all pre-designed in, in the color palettes. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to show it can be a little bit more creative. 
something you may never have been able to do in the past is gradating or vignetting one metallic ink into another. Now, this is because a metallic ink has metal pigment in it or aluminum pigment. So when you try to blend those two together, they have opaque metal in them, so you can't gradate one over top of the other. Well, let's see if we can do that with Color Logic. First of all, we're going to make a gradient, and we'll take let's take the the blue, the CL 118S for the left hand side, and we'll take the 186 for the right hand side. Well, we have now gradated two metallic colors together. We have a metallic blue gradating into a metallic magenta. Or we could also, instead of having the metallic in, in this front colour, let's go for the dimensional effect. Now remember, dimensional effect has no metallic ink. So on the left hand side, we now have CMYK blue gradating into a magenta. So we can gradate process into metallics. We can gradate metallics into metallics. Very quick, very simple. All we have to do now is send that file off to our printer output five separations and upon the return we would have different business cards each with a different metallic color and you've only had to pay for one extra spot printing plate which is the CL metallic silver. Thank you for listening today and that's the quick guide to designing with ColorLogic and our process metallic color system.